What's going on guys? So here in this box is a Nintendo Wii that I bought from eBay and it was actually the cheapest Nintendo Wii on eBay at the time when I bought this. Uh, basically I just went into the search bar, typed in Nintendo Wii console and searched by lowest price and I did buy it now because you know I don't want to wait for to bid on stuff but it was 35 bucks uh, plus a couple bucks for tax and part of the reason it was so cheap compared to everything else is because it comes with no cords, doesn't have a power cable, doesn't have AV cables, doesn't have a, a controller or anything like that. And another reason it was so cheap is because the seller describes the top of the console as having some uh, burns from a smoker's pipe, which is a really interesting way to describe uh, something on eBay. You know, usually you'd think that, you know, just say there's a couple burns on the top of the console, but this seller went in depth and said it's burns from a smoker's pipe. So you gotta wonder how they know that. You know, did they rest their pipe on top of the console and it was too hot and it burned it? I don't know. But you know, when I saw the seller described it as that, I knew I had to pick this console up and check it out. But real quick before you open this box up, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And also hit that join button to support the channel monetarily if you so desire. And yeah, let's go ahead and open this thing up. So like I said, 35 bucks, Nintendo Wii. Um, for, uh, fortunately, I have my own cables and controller and stuff that I can use to test this thing out. Um, but yeah, so before I finish cutting the tape and open this thing up, um, one thing I like to do is look at the box and kind of just see what condition it's in, make sure there's no crazy craziness to it. Um, a lot of times the outside of the box can tell you a lot. There's a little bit of a smush in the bottom, but not too bad overall. But let's go ahead and pop this thing open and see what's inside. So, as you probably noticed, it was in an Amazon box and oh, it's kind of dirty. This person used, oh, I hate when people do this. Hey, so technically this is like, I don't know what kind of offense this is. I think it's illegal, um, but you're not supposed to use these flat rate envelopes and flat rate boxes for anything other than actually shipping them. And this person basically just used it as packaging. So that's a, that's a pretty big no-no, I'm pretty sure. Um, could get in trouble for that. I guess they probably won't, wouldn't be quite as heavy handed since they did ship it with the postal service. If they had shipped it with UPS or something, then yeah, that's a really big no-no. Uh, but it looks like the console is in here and they basically just used these envelopes on the side. So they wrapped the console in this envelope right here and then one envelope on the bottom, one on top. Uh, but yeah, here is the box, or not the box, the, the envelope that was inside the box. And like I said, just a wee. So let's just go ahead and pull this thing open and see what's inside. All right, so I finally got this thing partially torn open. Let's see the, let's do the big reveal now. If I can get it out. So here it is, and I'm not sure if I said it before, but it's obviously a black Nintendo Wii, not a white one. But it's basically the same thing, it's just different color. Now, first of all, on top, uh, pretty scratched up. You know, kinda expected it. It does still have all four rubber feet, which is nice. And now here on the front, you have um, your missing SD card slot door, which I believe was listed in the listing, so that's not a big deal. Got your power button, your reset, your eject. Uh, your disc slot. Um, not too many scratches on here, but that's just because there's not much surface area to put a scratch. And then on here on the other side, uh, obviously this is where they said this console has some pipe burns. Um, again, you know, I don't know if they're actually a pipe burn or, or what burned it, but it looks like something obviously burned it. Um, it's kind of an indentation, but I mean, if the console still works, then I guess that's fine. Uh, still a lot of scratches on this side as well. Um, definitely a little bit dirty. And then here on the bottom, we got our serial number. Uh, model number RVL-101, um, got our rubber feet, everything looks okay. You can see the vent is pretty dirty, it's definitely some smoker dust right there. Um, so, you know, to be honest, it probably was a smoker's pipe that touched that and got it um, all bent out of shape like that. And then here on the back of the console, you got some more scratches, got two USB ports, your fan, your sensor bar input, power, and AV cables. And again, you can kind of see some of that smoker dust or dirt in the fan. Um, so yeah, probably was a smoker that touched it with their hot pipe and <laughs> burned it, which is kind of funny to be honest, but hopefully it still works. I mean, honestly, the console is not in good condition, but that's kind of what I, what I expected. And actually, I forgot to look at the top of the console where the GameCube ports are. And the door is like stuck. Yeah, that's really weird. I've been wrestling with this top door for a minute or so now, and it's definitely stuck. And to be honest, I wonder if this revision of the Wii doesn't have the GameCube ports on the top. So let me go ahead and look this model number up online real quick and make sure that it, that there are supposed to be GameCube ports on top. All right guys, so I did some quick research and I learned that this console actually does not have the GameCube ports, which is why I thought the top was stuck. Um, they just removed them from this model, which is why it's the RVL-101. And also it's meant to sit horizontal instead of vertical, 
which is why the Wii logo is facing horizontal, whereas on the original Wii, the, the Wii logo is facing vertical instead of horizontal. Um, and you can see on this Wii, obviously there's GameCube ports and memory card slots for the GameCube, whereas this one does not have that. Um, so that's the main difference. And yeah, I actually did not realize that. I thought it was just the Wii Mini that didn't have GameCube ports, but apparently they actually released a regular version of the Wii without GameCube ports. All right, so you've seen the console, you've seen lots of scratches, and of course some pipe burns, as we call them. And let's go ahead and test this thing out and make sure it actually works. All right, guys, so I got it plugged in, and as you can see, it sits nice horizontally. Um, sits right on the rubber feet, and as you can see, the Wii logo is the right way. And I actually found my faceplate to the Wii, so I can show you the difference between the, the original Wii versus this new black Wii. Um, you can see this one's meant to be vertical, and that one's horizontal, obviously. So I just wanted to show you that, and I haven't actually plugged in the power yet just because I want to build the suspense and <laughs> see if it actually powers on. So let's go ahead and plug in this power back here, and we will see if we actually get power to the console. Um, to be honest, with these weird burns on top of the console, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get power. So let's go ahead and do it. Aha, we do have power. So we got our power, reset, eject. We can see that our eject seems to be, seem to be working. It is now powering on. Um, hopefully my TV will display it because I have this like wonky converter that converts the AV input to HDMI, which sometimes doesn't work great. Alright guys, so it did finally show up. I was having issues with my AV to HDMI converter, but here it is. I also got a Wii controller to try out as well. I guess I need to sync it uh, to this new console, so let's go ahead and do that. So if I press the sync button here, and then press it here. There we go. Syncs up pretty quickly, and there it is. I got my sensor bar down there. You gotta hold the sensor bar or the Wii remote decently far away from the sensor bar for it to work. Home menu is loaded up. Uh, the date is completely wrong. Um, don't think we have an SD card in here. We do not. Step through that. Go back to the Wii menu. I'm always interested to see if the last time people played this thing. Like, I don't know if it's been reset or not. Wait, it has me in 2.11. I'm trying to figure out what. <laughs> it has me back. It has me in 2010 right now. All right, I, I guess the person who sold me this probably reset it, which is the smart thing to do. Um, let's go to Wii Options and we can check, I think. So here under Wii settings, we can see our console nickname, which is just called Wii, calendar, screen, sound, a um, bunch of other stuff. Yeah, I bet you they already reset everything. Yeah, there's no connection saved or anything. Okay. Data management. Let's see if there's anything saved here. That's a real test. Yep, nothing saved. So it looks like they did. Um, oh, that's actually interesting. So you have your save data, and you actually can still view Nintendo GameCube saves on here, even though you can't actually save any kind of Nintendo GameCube stuff on the specific console since it doesn't have the GameCube slots. That's interesting. Um, but it looks like it has, I guess, I don't know if the Wii automatically came with all these channels the disc channel, the Mii channel, the photo channel, Wii Shop, news and forecast. That sounds about right. Um, that kind of brings me back my memories. I remember when I was young, I used to come over here on the forecast channel, and I was like so, so excited to, to turn on my Wii to check the forecast. It was just like so lame. But uh, yeah, let's try out a disc now. So in suitable fashion, let's try out um, Wii Sports. So here we are, got the classic Wii Sports. I don't know about you guys, but this is still probably one of my favorite Wii games of all time. I really wish Nintendo would come out with a Wii Sports, or not a Wii Sports, but a, I guess you call it Switch Sports for the Nintendo Switch. Um, it's just like, it's such fun mini games and stuff. I don't know if they actually checked to see if discs worked on the, the guy that sold this to me. But it looks like it's loading up right now. Alright, so we got our wrist strap warning. And here is Wii Sports. Yeah, we'll create a save file, sure. So I guess we'll play for a minute and just make sure it works. We can play some, play some tennis. One player. Yeah, there's no, no Mies yet. Oh man, it's wild. Let's play as whoever I just picked. 
Sure. Guest F. What a great name. The uh, volume is like crazy loud on here. Alright, cool. Just gonna make sure this thing works real quick. <laughs> Alright, first. Yes, I win. I'll just call that I win. All right, so it looks like games are working. That's that's a good sign. I guess the uh, pipe burns didn't get too embedded in the Wii. That's still really, really funny to look at. I just can't believe how, I don't know if I want to call it candid, but just like how straightforward the seller was. They were like, these are probably pipe burns. I don't know if that means they put those pipe burns there or they just made an assumption. I don't know. So we saw the games working. We saw that this thing has been reset. I am interested to see if it connects to the to the internet. So let me go ahead and try Wii settings. And then we'll go to network settings, wherever it is. Internet. And I guess I'll set up a connection and we'll see if it works. All right, so it looks like the Wi-Fi is working. It wants me to do a Wii system update, but I'm gonna say no. To be honest, I don't remember ever actually doing a Wii system update, like ever, on my personal Wii or anything. Um, I guess when I played it, I didn't even know there was such a thing as system updates. But, I, you know, I don't even know if there's anything on the Wii you can actually connect to the internet now. Like, Wii Shop Channel, I think, has been discontinued, as far as I know. I don't know if you can go on the Forecast Channel or anything like that anymore. But I guess we can try it out and see what happens. Alright, so it says Wii tw Connect 24. Standby connection is turned off. Maybe I can go turn that on and see if it works. All right, so I did the Wii Connect 24 thing, and it still says that Wii 20, Connect 24 cannot be used. Um, so, yeah, my guess is that it's just discontinued, or I might have to do that system update. I don't know. Probably a combo of both, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, this console does look like it's, work, look like it's working. Um, again, lots of scratches. Got these burns on top, and it's definitely uh, got some, I guess, smoker's dust, if you want to call it. I kind of went in the looked at the back where the fan blows out and it seems to be blowing out air but it you know doesn't smell the best <laughs> I didn't put my nose up right next to it but um, didn't smell great so I might open this I might do a video where I open this thing up and clean it out um, on my second channel if you want to see my second channel I'll throw it up on the screen right now uh, but yeah I mean the console works you know I can't complain too much it was pretty cheap um, all things considered the, the crazy thing is this thing was 35 bucks and like two years ago or so I did a video on my channel where I bought a, a Wii from GameStop and unboxed it and that was like 50 bucks and it came with a Wii it came with a controller I think I think it came with like three Mario games it was like 50 bucks which is wild because right now Nintendo Wii's are going for a whole lot more than that I think it's just games in general are going for a lot more um, but yeah I mean the console works uh, you know we tested out the Wi-Fi it seems to be working game seems, seems to be working as well uh, the seller reset everything uh, 35 bucks so not a terrible price to be honest, it's kind of hard to see the pipe burns when it's not focused real well, but uh, it's still just, it's fascinating that those are on there. Um, but yeah, I mean, to be honest, what I'm thinking is somebody might have been using two candles as their sensor bar. If you guys don't know about that trick, I'll throw the link on the screen right now. I actually did a video about it. You can use two candles um, instead of your sensor bar, and, and you know, if you're missing your sensor bar, and it almost looks like somebody was using those two candles to do that, and for some reason put their Wii on top of it and burned it, but... You know, who knows? It just looks like it burns, and I guess that's all we'll ever really know. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely go down in the comments and let me know what are the consoles I should buy from eBay and GameStop, that sort of thing. I actually bought some consoles from Goodwill recently. I'm waiting for them to ship. They're taking forever to get to me, um, but I'm pretty excited to open those things up. That should be a pretty interesting video. Um, bought some consoles that are untested, so no idea what I'll get. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.